I Love Lucy is one of the most beloved TV shows, garnering millions of devoted fans all across the globe. The show's popularity is further solidified by winning four Emmys during its six-year span. But did you know that there's actually a dark secret that the showrunners would prefer the general public not know about? There's one episode that was taken off the air for 10 years. In this video, we're going to take a look at this controversial episode and how it impacted the series. This show. I Love Lucy was so popular it became syndicated in dozens of different languages, spreading its popularity worldwide. With such success and popularity, you might wonder how an episode came to be banned. In fact, the episode was initially aired without any problems at all. The episode is called Ricardo's Visit to Cuba, which aired on December 3, 1956. The episode itself started with a fairly innocent plot. After a trip to Florida, the Ricardos decided it would be convenient to take a quick detour and visit Cuba. Cuba was Ricky's home country, so making a trip there would allow everybody to meet Ricky's family. The episode even had a happy ending. After the visit, Ricky's family accepts and welcomes Lucy as part of the family. So what caused the episode to be banned? Well, during the 1950s, there was extreme political tensions between the U.S. and Cuba. By the time this particular episode aired, Cuba was heavily involved in guerrilla warfare. Cuba became a communist nation during the Cold War, leading to what America referred to as the Cuban Missile Crisis. The U.S. had essentially declared war on Cuba, which was a very controversial subject to citizens of both nations. Before the episode aired, the director himself was concerned that Americans might react negatively to an American character being married to a Cuban man. As another piece of fun trivia, Keith Thibodeau struggled to sing the song Babalu in this episode because it was in too high of a key. He struggled to hit the notes and was not proud of his performance. Of course, neither of these concerns led to the banning of the episode. Audiences had no problem with the character's relationships or singing abilities. The network, CBS, decided to step in and pull the episode from syndication. Nobody wanted to risk further straining the tensions between American citizens. Cuban was hugely controversial because pregnant women had never been shown on television before. Lucille and the rest of the cast became nervous that the show would take a hiatus, or even worse, be outright canceled. In fact, it made the show even more successful. Viewers were invested in both Lucy's on-screen pregnancy as well as the actress's real-life pregnancy. Lucille later gave birth to Desi Arnaz Jr. on January 19, 1953. On the very same night, CBS aired the episode where Lucy gave birth to little Ricky. This episode was called Lucy Goes to the Hospital. The New York Times referred to the episode as a national event. It had a record-setting 44 million people tune in, which meant that 72% of all televisions were tuned in to watch the episode. The response was incredible. Millions of delighted fans sending congratulatory notes and gifts. Despite the opposition from right-wing groups who still believed pregnancy was a vulgar subject, the episode continued to air, and the TV show gained immense levels of popularity. After the conclusion of the sixth season of I Love Lucy, Lucille and her husband participated in several spin-off series and enjoyed a long and successful career. Although they later divorced, their on-screen and off-screen relationships continue to inspire love in fans today. Who knew such a beloved show could stir up so much controversy? We hope you enjoyed this look at these historic TV events. Now we'd like to hear from you. Which episode do you find more controversial? The one about Lucy's pregnancy or the one about their trip to Cuba? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like the video and subscribe to Facts First for more videos like this.